Like, I'm trying to remember, like, what the duck she got fired for. Like, because I remember whenever she got fired... I, I was like, this, say, this is fucking stupid. Like, why did that happen? Viewpoints regarding uh, preferred pronouns... L let me see what she actually got fired for. In my experience, screaming at someone because that they are a racist whenever they are indeed not a racist and post and or research you do not show these exact facts and i'm sorry these people are not educators they are cowards and bullies okay um you'll realize what were nazi shoulders he's your round of jews how is this any different for people spewing their political views yeah i mean like i would say the holocaust is different than like somebody getting mad on twitter about what you said about like a uh, politics, but like, is this worthy of like firing somebody? Like, I don't know. Um, so basically she's saying that, let me read this real quick. She's saying that Pedro Pascal posted in 2017 comparing President Donald Trump to Hitler. Well, I mean, here's the reality, right? Is like, everybody knows that it's more, uh, it's more financially beneficial to have left-wing politics than right-wing politics. Like, it's just the reality of things. And so, uh, and this will change, uh, just like it, ch it used to be this way, you know, probably a long time ago, and then it changed before that. It'll always change. And so, right now, though, uh, having left-wing politics is the, uh, that, that's the, uh, th that's a better strat, right? It's, it's a better character build, and uh, it generally gets you more experience and more gold. And so, yeah, she was playing the wrong spec, and she got kicked out of the raid. That's what happened. Uh, now, should this happen? No, I don't think it should happen. I, I don't. I, I don't like the idea that, like, somebody voices a... And, like, I think there's extremes, right? Like, you know, advocating for, like, genocide or, um, you know, like, I don't know, like, saying that you should, like, g kill kids or... I don't know. There's a few exceptions uh, where, like, or, like, being, like, hardcore super racist. Um, I, I think that, yeah, sure, you should you should get rid of people, right? Definitely. But for what she said, I, I, just, I think it might have been, like, dumb, but, like, I don't think it's worthy of, like, firing somebody, like, removing them from. Uh, it, it's... It, I don't think it, like, passes at least, like, my test of, like, is this something that's, like, so egregious that any reasonable person could see that this individual was posting this with malice? And I think that, like, that's really the difference for me is like if you're posting something uh for malice or for hate versus just posting something because you feel a certain way uh and i think she just felt a certain way about it the holocaust post was unhinged it was but i think it was like more stupid than like hate driven i don't think that she really thought that the holocaust was like good it was just how people you know how people compare like i remember i think colin kaepernick compared um you know like the nba and nfl drafts to like uh picking slaves like these, this, I, in my opinion, I think it's basically the same thing. Like you're comparing an actual horrible event with something that has literally nothing to do with it. And it's just crazy. Double agreed. Yeah, I mean, they're both fucking stupid. Uh, I don't think it really is. Disney doesn't have to put up with it. No, no, and, she, and, it, and they don't. Um, but it is true that, like, obviously, whenever you have, because this is the reality, I think that everybody knows this is true, um, is that, it's okay to say that Donald Trump is Hitler, but it's not okay to say, I don't know, like what Gina Carano said, for example. And like, Donald Trump is not Hitler. He's not. It's not even remotely close. Like, it, it is, in my opinion, the as big of a massive fucking, like, uh, uh, like a jump in morality as what she said. Yeah, Trump is war hero. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was it went to two uh, two tours in Vietnam, right? Yeah, I think that's what it was. And uh, Trump's the one in it. Yeah, I, was it only two? His feet hurt too bad. Yeah, that's why he didn't go to his third one, right? Yeah, Trump was more like Andrew Jackson. I mean, Trump's an asshole, but he's not like Hitler, right? I mean, like again, uh, so so like there's a lot of things that like the Nazis did. Like everybody knows about the Holocaust, right? Everybody's like, oh, Holocaust is like really bad. Yeah, for sure. But, like, they also used to use, like, Jewish women for, uh, medical testing. And there's, like, records of, like, Nazi, uh, Nazi, like, uh, medical personnel and officers, uh, you know, correspondence between each other. 
and they would talk about, hey, you know, we thank you for the 200 Jews you sent us. Uh, we tested the medical stuff on them. They're all dead. Uh, can you send us 200 more? Uh, thank you so much for your, you know, continued support of our medical work, right? And, and so, like, that's really it. It's like, you know, somebody is, like, thanking another person for delivering flowers, and it was really for murdering 200 people. So, like, I don't think that people really understand what the fuck... Yeah, no, and, and like, it's... You know, obviously, the Holocaust is a big one, right? But, like, there's, like, 50 other things that's, like, almost the, uh... I think what's more scary in a way about like stuff like that is everybody pretended like the Holocaust wasn't real, at least in Germany. People are like, oh, that's not really happening. But um, it's the casualization of it. It's like, this is just the norm. This is just how it is. And so, yeah, I think that comparing somebody like that to Hitler is just insane. No? No, I, I, I think that there were a lot of people not true what the fuck. Oh, yeah, no, what I'm saying is that there were a lot of people in Germany who said that they didn't know the Holocaust was happening and, like, they didn't know really what was happening. It was kind of like a thing where a lot of them kind of knew about it, but they didn't really want to talk about it in the same way. And I think that really, like, what's more culturally cor corrosive is that whenever you have something that's, like, just absolute, unadulterated cruelty that's totally accepted publicly and socially, and it's normalized. And that was the point that I was making. Was there somebody in chat that thought that I was- I said the Holocaust wasn't real? I- I hope there was. I look forward to reading your Twitter post later on. And so anyway, um, anyway, I- I think that all of these things is, uh, I think they're all basically just like different shades of stupidity, right? And so, uh, you're saying Holocaust happening right now, Palestinian people? Yeah, well, I'm not really talking about that. I mean, if she was talking about that, I, I would refer to that. But, like, that's clearly not what we're talking about. I don't know why you're bringing that up. But point is that whenever you have a perspective, like a political perspective that's, like, acceptable, and then another political perspective that's unacceptable, you made it sound like people in Germany now are Holocaust deniers? Well, I'm sure there are Holocaust deniers in Germany right now. Of course there are. Even though it's illegal over there to deny the Holocaust. Of course there's people that think that that didn't happen. Same as people over here think that it didn't happen. But, like, is it a, a, a pervasive cultural thing? Probably not, no. I don't think so. So that's really not what's going on, Palestine. Yeah, I'm not really sure. And, um, so yeah, that's pretty much, that. that's my perspective on this, is that I find it to be very problematic that people can have one brand of politics and be allowed to make comparisons to Nazi Germany. And if you have another brand of politics, you can't do that even whenever, again, I think that comparing Donald Trump to Hitler is about as stupid as comparing, uh, you know, people getting rounded up and, uh, you know, for like being Jews versus being political prisoners. I think these are both absolutely insane because they completely trivialize the actual person or the actual event. They're, they're both stupid. So, yeah, I think she brings up a good point. Let's see here, people can bear gas chambers, control- No, I, I don't give a fuck about that, right? I mean, like, I'm not talking about that, it's got nothing to do with it. And, uh, situations involving he said, she said, it's a good idea not to side with a billion dollar company generally? No, I don't think that's true. Um, I, I think that really you should look at what the facts are and make a decision based off of that. I think that if you're making a decision based off of who has more money, you're just making a biased decision. You're saying, like, my bias towards people without money, or my bias against people with money, is causing me to evaluate the facts in a way that I wouldn't normally look at. Uh, no, that's stupid. Uh, you should look at what the facts are and then make a decision based off of that. Uh, so yeah, no, I, I, I do agree with her. I think it was kind of bullshit that, you know, people can have one brand of politics and be okay, and if they have another brand, they're not okay. And I don't think that, for example, like, anything that she said was really that bad. Uh, obviously, like, some of it was stupid. Sure, it was stupid. But is it something that's, like, written with malice, with, with ill intent, and uh, with, with the, uh, the hope of harming another person? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's insane. So, yeah, I'm glad she's suing them. And uh, I, I think that's pretty much what I think. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I'll read a few more, and I'll continue the rest of it. It's not about morality, it's about evaluating brand damage. Yeah, but brand damage and everything like that has to exist in a scope that's beneficial towards the population, right? Like, this is another perspective that I have. I know some people might not agree with this, but I think that every company, if it does not exist for the benefit of the public, it should not exist. 
And so if there is a company that effectively exists as a parasite on people, then it should not be allowed to exist. So yeah, that's fascism. Um, I don't really think so. I, I don't think so at all, actually. Uh, because you, there are already examples of that. There's like plenty of companies that used to do things that now we view are benefit or bad for people and they're not allowed to do it anymore. So yeah. Ban insurance companies. I agree with you, actually. And ironically, I think you should. Who gets to decide what's bad for people? A representative democracy that's elected by the people that um, they represent. Uh, what, do you, what did you think I was going to say? That's clearly the way it works, right? And so anyway, uh, basically, yeah, I think this, this sucks. I do. I absolutely think this sucks. And uh, I, I'm glad to see people like, um, <clears throat> you know, like Dana, D Dana White, you know, at the, at the UFC. And he just lets people say whatever the fuck they want. I very much think it's, pr I, I think it's a very, very bad thing that there are these massive multi-billion dollar companies that have no sense of like accountability to the United States in terms of like what the political structure of the country is or how they affect the country. Their goal is to make money. And because these countries are, are companies uh, are so big and so powerful that their withholding of funds or funding of the opposite uh, has created effectively a complete culture shift. And I find this to be very problematic and very bad. I don't think that at any point companies should be dictating politics or morality. Companies exist fundamentally not for politics, not for morality. They exist only to make money. And so whenever companies are using politics or morality, it should always be met with complete disdain and it should be viewed as just simply a, uh, you know, transparent attempt to trick people out of money. Like Bud Light? Well, like Bud Light, like any of these companies. I think that any of them that tries to push social politics issues, um, I, I, I think they're totally wrong. And I don't want any company pushing any social politics issues at all. Uh, that That's generally what my perspective is. This seems to happen from the U.S. side. U.S. companies affecting other countries. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, right? Is like, because these companies uh, like take away advertising and they don't support certain uh, websites that have bad viewpoints, you could say, uh, this effectively changes the entire culture of the way people see politics and they see the social culture of their country. And like the idea that that's happening is extremely bad. Like Ford and GM during Nazi regime? Of course. People defend corporations on social issues are nuts. Well, they're not nuts. It's just the, the, so the company is saying, they're t is talking about the social issue that they agree with. Uh, that's it. Uh, they aren't pushing a policy. They're making a business decision based on her political action and how they think their business will be affected by it. Well, I know that. I, and I, I understand. There's So there's like, there's two arguments about this, right? There's like, number one, like, should this be like moderated legally, right? Which I'm like, I'm not really sure about that. But I think that that's a bad thing. Th does that make sense that people are being fired because of political opinions that are not, uh, you know, advocating genocide? Like, I do find this to be a bad thing fundamentally. Now, should this be against the law? It's very hard to say, right? Because like you have freedom of association, but th this is an extremely dangerous thing to have these massive companies that have a stranglehold over like social interactions online through advertising. And then these companies trying to force a certain type of viewpoint on these uh, websites. This is extremely bad. Uh, it, it's crazy to me that, that it's not. And I, I actually think that anybody would say that it is. Like, for example, if Saudi Arabia owned Twitter and they didn't allow anybody to say anything positive about gay people, people would be up in arms about this. And I think that that shows that it's not necessarily that people disagree, or sorry, that, that people are, are for the thing, they're for the outcome of the thing. That's what I think. People in the Senate are bought? Yeah, I know, it's really bad. They can do it in celebrities, turn to minimum wage workers. Elon funding getting fired for opinions, since he did it all the time. Elon funding someone for getting fired for opinions is very funny, since he did it all the time. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's not really about it. And if they say uh, what the viewpoint they're not supporting before you get the job, 
Um, I, I don't really think that there's a lot to this opinion that I have. Like, I, I really don't... I don't think that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of nuance to this. W what I'm saying is that companies trying to dictate the political culture in the country through, like, aggressive funding or not funding of certain things is dangerous and bad for everyone. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that, like, on a fundamental level. Like, whether it's, uh, you know, Disney doing it, Saudi Arabia doing it, uh, Nestle doing it, or Hobby Lobby doing it, these are all bad. They're, every single one of them is bad. And I don't know how to solve this problem. I, I really don't, I'm not sure. But, I, I wish people would wake up and see it for what it is. How should political culture be formed? Democratically. It should be formed democratically by people spreading and in a free marketplace of ideas. Like, in, in my opinion, I think that anybody should be able to have whatever opinion that they want. But at the same time, and also, like, again, this is also, like, it's a social problem, too. I, I want to say this. Like, I'm, that's why I'm saying, like, there's not... It, it, it's not like a law should necessarily happen, because I think that a law creates a lot of other problems, too, right? It does. Uh, so it's like, how, how do you solve something like this? We can't let big corporations believe that they're expected to take action on someone's social opinions? Exactly. Democracy is the worst form of government. All it does is legitimize corruption. Um, I, I think that you messed the quote up. I think the quote is actually, democracy is the worst form of government besides all of the other ones. Yeah, uh, I think that's the other one. Uh, I, I don't, I don't think so. I'm very much a democracy enjoyer. It's not a democracy anymore. Having an opinion is great. You just got to be ready for the repercussion of those opinions. I disagree with that. I don't like the idea that there should be tremendous repercussions for somebody having a political opinion. And I don't think that you agree with that either. I think that if you lived in a country that didn't reflect what your political opinions were, and you couldn't express yourself in a way that you felt was fulfilling to yourself as a person, you would also feel the same way that I do, and feel the same way that a lot of other people do. So, yeah, I, I don't agree with you. I, I don't even think that you agree with you. I think that you're just argu arguing for that and advocating for that because you're in a position where it's beneficial. I think the truth is that, th and this will shift. This, this will shift. It's already shifting, right? And then whenever it does, I mean, a lot of you guys are old enough to remember what would happen if you went against the Iraq war, right? I mean, people are getting fired for that. And so it's just going to happen like this again. And I don't really think it's going to change because people are just stupid. But um, it's definitely a bad thing. Repercussions for opinions are stupid. I don't think it's always stupid, but it is 99% of the time. Uh, the, the truth is anything is better than China, I think. Okay. Democracy is mob rule for the lowest common denominator. Okay, well, I don't want to have a king either, okay? Like, you're not going to convince me that, like, having a monarchy is a good idea. Like, uh, I, well, what, what do you want to do, do instead? Like, w w what is this? Democracy only functions with, uh, what's this here? Um, with lover, uh, lover's consent, which we don't have anymore. I don't know what that means. I always thought hiring and firing, uh, based on political belief was a discriminatory, discriminatory factor. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that maybe it could be. And I feel like, obviously, maybe that's something that you could talk about. Maybe somebody's political opinion could be protected speech, and, like, they can't be fired for it. But, I mean, I think that with something like that, people always find a way to get people fired, even whenever that's not the case. I generally only care about the opinions people have. I'm a trans people who lives in a transphobic country. I don't want to have to go to work to somebody that's openly transphobic outside of work because that would be kind of hostile towards me. I don't know. Um, yeah, I understand that and I get that. But my point is that a lot of people advocate for different things from the viewpoint of themselves. Like you were thinking about how I would feel if I was in this situation. But you never think about the fact that other people, if a lot of them get together and say they feel the same way in the opposite situation, they can use that to control you. And that's my point, is that whenever you create a rule, the only thing you have to do in order for that rule to be used against you is wait. 
So maybe it's not a good idea to have a lot of rules about what people can and can't say or think. 